Okay, in today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to wire up your sequential module uh, to your taillight. For the sequential signal uh, feature, we are going to be using this sequential module from ZLED. This is their S10 model, and it can be purchased through our website. Uh, I will now go over how you can wire this thing to your taillight. So as you can see, this is a 10 pixel module, meaning we can have 10 pixels in our sequential uh, turn signal. So from the right to left, that's where your 1 to 10 are. So it goes from 1, 2, 3, and all the way to 10. The ground pin to the left here uh, needs to be wired in to your turn signal as well. And the positive and negative terminal down here are for the vehicle side wiring harness. Uh, another feature on this uh, sequential module is a potentiometer. And this can be adjusted uh, based on the speed in which your car relay flashes so that you can finish the entire animation before the next signal is sent to the tail light. Okay, so I will now show you how wiring works on the panel side. Uh, this is what the panel would look like at around 80% completion. And this is what it would look like on a clean slate. So before you start wiring your sequential uh, turn signal, you want to mark out your groupings, right? Um, so on this particular set of taillight, we have nine pixels. And since I want the animation to start from here, I number them one through nine in the sequence that I want. When you mark out your groupings, you have to keep in mind that LEDs are best configured and have, this, have similar brightness when they're in groups of four and five. So if you see here, this is a group of four, five. These are both groups of fives. And that's just to keep the brightness consistent between different groups of LEDs. Since I want this entire block of LEDs to light up together as one pixel, uh, you want to connect the power together since the uh, S10 module is a power triggered uh, sequential module, meaning that uh, it's controlled by the power and not ground. So this is what we did here. Power is connected on pixel one, Power is also connected here on pixel two, so on and so forth. So for the next step in the process, I went ahead and soldered wires to the sequential module. And these wires are about a foot in length. And that just makes for an easier time packaging the uh, sequential module in the light later on. As you can see, we wanted nine pixels on the Evo set of taillights. So I went ahead and wired in nine uh, power controlled uh, signal and the ground. So this is what the back of the panel will look like after all the wiring is done. As you can see, uh, we matched the module sequence to the groupings on the back of the panels. Uh, so wire one from here would be going into the first group here. And the purpose of bridging the uh, power at first was so that these uh, power sources can be connected to each of the LED groups. Uh, so this is what the module would look like when it's in action. And as you can see, this board has a nice feature in which it displays which of your pixels are also lit. So if you just pulse. So you see how the turn signal sequence is exactly the same as the ones on the board. And if you take a little screwdriver, you can adjust the speed in which the sequence goes. Go. So that slows it down, and we can also speed it up. Go. Nope. 